and we're back so we are getting back to the prey let's play this is part four of my prey let's play if you have any questions comments you want to see the rest of the let's play go check out my uh previous videos otherwise let's get into the game so if i remember right this happened a while so i i literally stopped playing this game for a few days i'm just trying to sort of get back online with the story as far as everything goes <laughs> All right, so we've got the cabin and the cafeteria. There's some spooky shit going down in the cabin. So I'm going to try going this way. Or the cafeteria. So I'm going to try going to the cabin. So there's something down here. It's... I don't... Oh, we do have the keys to this. Alright. So now we're in part B. I guess last time we were in part A. So I'm guessing what it is is just... Based on like, ooh, let's install this. Based on what keys you picked up as you're playing the game. Fall, falling on an enemy. Ooh, all right. So I mean, I don't know how many is that, but um, I did not mean to do that. Where did we go? No. I'm at a loss here as far as where it was. Um, I thought it was. Man, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. We don't, we don't need that mod yet. Periodic table of elements. We've got that. We've got some emails. Pizza box. Again, I can't eat the pizza, which I think is uh, very cruel and unusual. So let's uh, check this out. Oops, sorry about that. Hold on one sec. My Twitch stream is quite far behind. Um, sometimes Twitch does it. All right. So, new replayer, Dr. Thangstein, I wanted to write to you personally and thank you for the new replayer. I know some people have been on the waiting list to get one of these and it was a pleasant survivor. I want to bridge it to makes it, makes it awkward for me to travel further. However, you can spare one of your engineers for a bit and swing by to show me what it does. Okay, cool. Part requisition. Okay, so it looks like this is just like some dude who was, a who was able to like get people shit that they wanted. Uh, very helpful dude to know, it sounds like. Or woman. Ooh, got some plans. I almost missed those. Weapon upgrade kit. Again, I almost missed that. Nothing really there. Some shoes. That's not going to help me. So it looks like we got everything here. Let's uh, let's keep going. Hold on one sec. My Twitch stream's going a little bonkers right now. It's supposed to be live. I, uh, there we go. So it said it was live, and then I was I was just having some weird trouble with it. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see. Can we open uh, this one? No. All right. So that's not a good sign here. But we got suit repair kits. That's nice. Oh, uh, this is not a good sign at all. Got some bloody footprints. Let's keep going. And we've got a dead body. Oh, Jesus. I, I picked up the chair. It freaked me out a little bit. I thought that thing was going to attack me. I thought it messed up. Anti-red fabrication plans. I don't really need those, but whatever. Whatever. Um, What do we have? Test two. Uh, nothing really too useful, is there? I guess it makes sense. This was sort of well. I know I did get the med kits. Never mind. We got some useful shit here. Let's try this. Ooh. Let's do this one first. Oh, look at this baller! He's got an arcade machine in his bedroom. God damn, he's doing good. So what else do we have? What was that? I saw something. Bag of chips. Yeah, let's take that. So this dude's just living the life, it looks like. What are these notes? So it's a celebration. All right. Got some foam bolts. Oh, we don't have the password. All right. So you got a little bit of foam. I said this dude, it's it's a ch it's, it's a woman. All right, Abigail. Way to go, Abigail. Way to have uh, uh, a pinball machine in your room. You must have been pretty, uh, pretty nicely set up. Oh, man. Wow, 
All right. Well, I don't know if that was my best call there, kid. Like, I, I hit it a few times. What is this? I know your show is yours. Oh, that's just the character sheet thing. So these guys all have, like, their, our, our, um, their D and D characters all mapped out. That's sort of cool. Let's take the neuro. Oh. Get my find missing transcript. Check theater. This guy's having some relationship issues. Ooh, what is this? Objectives matter. Oh, okay. Um, ch -ch -ch crew quarters. Oh, so here we're just searching for samples. I think I think we good though. Didn't we find something already? My memory is pretty bad. Cosmos flower cuttings. Let's take those. What is this thing? There's a transcribe that we could repair. Oh, that would be nice. <clears throat> I see. I see. I see. All right. So let's use these neuromods and see if we can't get our repair skills up just a little bit, right? I think that's all we need to do. Repair too. Let's let's uh let's get it. I want to hear what it says. To be honest. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. All right. Oh, voice samples processing at 30%. All right, so that's something. That's something. Let's uh, let's grab this tracking bracelet. I don't know if that's going to be useful at all. Probably not. We got some files here. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Okay, so it looks like she's like interesting. Pretty cool person, sounds like. I'm not sure if we're going on a date or what. Alright, sweet what is that? Never type your password into an email. No, 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 no. Oh, so we got a password there. Kublia Khan. That's, yeah. Good, good job. Should not have typed your password into the email. Never do that, folks. <clears throat> now I left my transcript at the pool. Can I convince you to bring it to me? Anyway, deep storage, by the way, I have some ideas for you. I'm sick of looking for Alright, so this is another transcribe treasure hunt. Greetings. Each of you have a map fragment. By now, I imagine the amount of time you have a I shouldn't file any work to do. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Very interesting how that works. So there's like some sort of puzzle going on right now. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here. We did manage to kill that thing. We did use some shotgun shells. Probably not the best idea, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Can I get into this room? No. I wonder if the computer password. No, Abigail Fry. That was. Um, so good, ladies. Computer password. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. I feel like the bathrooms. Bathrooms are always spooky in these games. We got some notes. Um, otherwise, it's everywhere. We got the gym code. Let's get swole, folks. Let's get swole. Pretty normal bathroom here. I don't know why I'm looking at the bathroom. Probably. I'm just going to get myself scared. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So let's head over here. It's nice to know we've got the gym code. I'm sure that's going to come in handy. Habitation code. Oh, shoot. Come on now. I don't even know what this is. And he, so we've got the front desk code now on the gate. That is 
hopefully gonna help us out. No smoking, that makes sense. Shit, alright. I don't know why this is happening now. I think there's something, like, once I enable those neuromods, I think I sort of got screwed over. Let's listen to this. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh... Oh, so yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Milia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. All right, says so weird. All right, let's listen to it. Dear future us, today, future us, we are not calling ourselves that. T wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a normal hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so. It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? All right, I'm just running through grabbing everything because uh, this, I'm, I'm getting attacked pretty, pretty bad. Ooh. Ron Perriman is doing the voices according to Pamela May. Sorry about that too. I don't know what like it's doing because I'm I'm setting it to say pray, but for some reason it's telling everybody I'm playing Entropia Universe on Twitch. Only Which if yeah, that, that's you suddenly annoying. collapse, and only Let's if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. All right, so we got one more transcribe to listen to. Uh, I haven't seen the new Hellboy. I don't think. Dear I might have. Us. Today, future us. We are not calling ourselves that. Today, I, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? <laughs> ...to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Alright, so we got some more voice transcripts. Um, but no, Pamela, I don't think I've seen the new Hellboy. There's a chance I could have. So a lot of my movie watching experiences are just done on airplanes. So there's a good chance that if it was like on a plane recently, or if it was released on like some sort of airplane service, I probably did watch it. Not, not the, oh, why, oh, we've still gotta go to Abigail's cabin, so we missed something, I guess. Didn't we? Oh, we don't know her password. That's why, right? I don't. I I like CGI in movies, but I definitely agree. Like animatronics, there's a lot more work done. Like animatronics, there's definitely a higher standard. Like some CGI, I don't mind, but sometimes it is a little, uh, a little too much. I agree. I don't know what this password is. Let's see if they give me something in objectives about this. They're saying go to Abigail Fry's apartment, so they should, maybe they'll tell me something. True gathering echoes, search a theater. Okay, so Abigail Fry does have it, but I just don't have her password. But we're at 60%, so I think I should be able to do some of this. Let's go to the crew, the cafeteria, though. Oh, you saw it before it hit theaters. That's cool. I used to be able to get like pre releases and stuff, but not anymore. Ooh, we're out of bullets here. That's not a good sign. We got these things. Oh, I see. So I can use this to trigger buttons. And I accidentally hit the wrong key. Disruptor. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but it works. 
Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. He doesn't do the prepare least if it has one. That's cool though. It's always nice to have these ahead of time. I really do enjoy that. Like when you can start to like, get the get the scoop on everybody. Although a lot of the time they're not. Well, I don't know. At least recently, I, there's a lot like a lot of movies. I just feel like they're overhyped. It could be because I'm getting old. It, it, that's probably what it is, to be honest with you guys. But I don't know. It just does feel a little bit like overhyped. But this quality works in Hollywood. They'd definitely be the person to get you. Uh, I'm probably gonna just drop this. That would be the person to get you your uh, pre-releases. Let's upgrade the shotgun if we can here. We need to give it some more firepower. And I'm gonna say, let's give it some recoil. Make this thing a legit gun. Now we'll go with the wrench. Alright, let's try using this. What does this say? Welcome, Morgan, you. I know there's something here, right? Whoever you are, run. There's no more fool here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill this. Or puppets, or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets. <laughs> That's fair, Pamela. <laughs> Maybe we talk. So kill the puppets, then we talk. Yeah, that, no, that's fair, Pamela. Like, if someone can get you the inside scoop, you don't want to ruin that. Game. Oh, that's fair. That is fair. What the hell? What the hell? This is. Alright, yeah. Yeah, I didn't go in there prepared at all. At all. So, I, let's try this again. But no, Pamela, it's always great to get like that inside connection. Like I definitely get that. Um, Steal the hold of your brain, good. But yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to get in trouble. Or not? Shoot first before they get close. I wonder if I can the use this. Pockets, thing. bombs. Their master is close. Kill this or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more. Maybe we talk. Now your brother's friend. <laughs> hey, it works, it works. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see if we can't get this help back to come close, maybe. So this one I don't. Oh, this, all right. Right. You've got to like trigger them a little bit here, just because. Oh, come on now. See, I don't want to use my gun. I, I really need the gun for this because if I could just, like, pop him just a little bit, I could make him explode, but I just can't do it. Oh, no, Pamela, I definitely get it. Like, I'll watch, I watch movies every now and then, but I'm not, like, super into it. And, yeah, yeah, you definitely don't want to share it because, like, I, those screeners, they do have, like, tracking on them. So he could get, he could definitely get a lot. Oh man, it's not going too well here. Alright, we're gonna 
I have to do it like this. We're out of bullets again. Oh. I don't know how to do this. These guys, are, this is hard. It's hard to do this. I ran out of bullets again. Ah, such a shitty problem I keep running into. I haven't seen glass. Is that the M Night Shyamalan one? Is that the? Is that what it is? I'm sort of blanking on what what type of movie this was. So we got shotgun. I think we're gonna have to use a stun gun here. Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. All right, so we got to get rid of all these puppets, and we've got to do it in a smart way. I'm definitely going to have to use a stun gun to do it. So Glass is the third part of the series. I think that is like the one I'm thinking of. I think. I could be wrong though. That's the thing. I could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm 100%, but I think I think Glass is the one I'm thinking of. It looked like a cool. It looked like a cool one for sure. Scan him, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Bruce will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I just saw an ad for it in the uh, subway. Oh, whoop, uh, all right, well, explosives, fire, and null wave are his weaknesses. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that, so, sort of a choice here. So I've just got to, I've got to play it safe here. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to kill these guys without shooting them. Oh. Alright, this, this is this is hard. This is gonna be hard. It'll be fun though, hopefully. Does he have any I'm hoping some of these guys are gonna oh. need some weapons. Oh, Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 Pamela. I remember the second part was split, right? The second part, and that was like a whole, that was a whole thing. I remember because like nobody knew. I didn't even get the reference at first, to be honest. Even when I saw Bruce Willis, like, I didn't Good. care. Good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. The puppets, bombs. They're not Let's try this. Close. Oh. Should reload. Or puppets, or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. And of course, I died again. I've got to figure this out. I think I'm gonna have to just go uh, craft some bullets or something. Let's check around. I'm gonna check around see if I can't find some some ammo because otherwise I'm gonna have a really hard time with this one right here. So this is uh, hold of your brain. Good. Safe. Others here. Or not. Shoot first before they get close. The puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. No, so we were in here already. I'm trying to find a place that we haven't been that maybe like there's some ammo or something. I got a code to, I don't know. So Pamela Mason, super hyped for, uh, for glass. I don't know, like, I didn't, I wasn't that into it, that's the thing. Like, I thought it was cool, but it wasn't one of those things that, like, blew me away. So I'm not super hyped for it or anything. It definitely looked interesting, though. It's, it's one of those movies, like, I'll check out, but I just won't be, uh, I definitely won't be, like, the first person to check it out with anyone. I'll, I'll still uh, see it and I think I'll enjoy it. Oh, here we go. We've got this code. This is going to be good. Let's do this. Three, nine, eight, two. Favorite movie series. That's a hard one. I really don't know what my favorite movie series would be. Um, movie wise, like probably the. 
most different one would be. I'm really into, uh, ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. We got some nice shotgun shells. I'm really into uh, Hackers. That was like a movie that came out back in the 90s. It's very geeky, but I really liked it. It was like one of those things that I watched. and It didn't get me into computers, but it was just like such a, it's such a timepiece for the 90s. It was just an amazing movie. Uh, Series-wise, though, like, Lord of the Rings is good. Not The Hobbits, Lord of the Rings. Star Wars, the originals, I liked. Nowadays, I don't think they hold up as good as they did before. Like, I think I like it because of the, um... Hackers, yeah, yeah, Johnny... John, Johnny Minomic, or however you say that. That one I liked. Just watched a bit of it. Um, but sort of, like, that style of movie I like a lot. I also like bank robbery and, like, zombie movies. Uh, like... George Romano, like anything he does with zombies is always going to be pretty good. Let's see. Please help me. There's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Alright, that's not good. Seriously, my quarters have no view of space. No windows at all. So, alright. So this person's being a little bit of a bitch complaining. And then someone tries to get into the room. So that, that does suck. Uh, Pokemon on board, tell us, but I assume flat piss. Wow. These concierge services are just getting shit on here wow we got the fitness center code um all right cool cool but we did get we did get a lot more shotgun ammo so this is a step in the right direction let's see if there's anything else here where's this gym fitness center oh right here Let's try this. There's got to be something good in here, right? Hopefully. No. No. Can you make it stop? I, I think, I, in a way, I've almost got to let them damage me. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to, like, stop this. Um... Okay, so that's sort of blocked off. It looks like we're going to be able to get some really good stuff here, though, I'm thinking. There's got to be some ammo. There's got to be some cool stuff. But yeah, like, Hackers was a big one for me, uh, movie-wise. Oh, let's just eat that apple right off the bat. The Living Dead series is complicated, but it's from Roman series. It doesn't have much to do with any of the movies except... Yeah, I mean, the Living Dawn series I liked. A lot of them I viewed more as, like, standalone than I did, like, full-on movies, if that makes sense. Just because, like, you're right. Like, they are very... Sometimes the continuity... Continuity... Con ugh, I'm stumbling with this word here. But some sometimes it's just not there. Ooh, so what are we, we going to get rid of? Maybe the baseball glove? I don't need that. But I do need some food. So we'll throw that in there, too. Oh, man. We have so much good shit here. This is... Can I take the ammo? No. Whew. We gotta decide. No, I sort of want the tracking bracement, bracelet. Oh, that stuff I like, too. We'll get rid of the lemon peels. That'll give me some space. What is this? Use cigar. Get rid of that. Put the neuromods there. And we should be able to do it. So that works. We got rid of that. Oh, shit. Alright, so we pulled that one off somehow. Somehow. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead was a good one. I mean, I, to be honest, I like the originals and the remakes. I know some people really do hate the... I've heard a lot of people that hate on the remakes, but I, I didn't think they were that bad, to be honest. Um, if you're one of the people that hates on the remakes, like, I get it. A lot of the times it's hard for a remake to live up to sort of the... Live up to what it was before, you know? Like, live up to what you're expecting just because you want it to be better than the old one. So I completely get that frame of review. It's just, uh, well, I liked it. So what do you have here? Suit repair kit. I need that. Can we not stack this? No, we don't have enough. All right. 
Man, I need to I need to bump my inventory up again. Let's see if I can. Cause we are we're running out of space here again. I need to I, I need to bump my inventory up or find somewhere where I can recycle it. Uh, but yeah, zombie movies are my favorite. I like bank robbery movies. It, it it really depends on the mood I'm into. Like um, TV shows like Shameless, Game of Thrones. Like everyone likes Game of Thrones, though, so that's like the least original thing I could say. Um, Oh, I see. The zombies are painted in blue because it was meant to be recorded in black and white. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I know they've done some, like, black and white stuff, but I didn't know he was so big on... I mean, I guess I did. I don't know. That's interesting, though. That's a cool little fun fact. All right. Let me see what I can do here. So, I think it's engineering that would allow me to carry more red. Brute strength. Brute force. Oh, Unopened doors. Okay, so here we get a little bit more space. Requires four neuro mods, and we only have three. So we're close. We're close. We'll get there. Yeah, it's sort of interesting. The original Dawn of Dead, they wanted to record that in uh, black and white just because. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, it, it wasn't made that long ago that. But I mean, I know he's George Romano. Like he's big on some of that stuff, like that artsy, like look to movies and stuff like that. Like he, he makes it more of an art than most directors would, I think. So we got a lot of dead bodies here. Let's listen to this. Emma, it's Danielle. Treasure map. <laughs> trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. No. Emma, I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Oh, so Donna said they only had a $9,000 budget? Are you... Is that right? Shit. I never knew they made it in just that little. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't like a high budget movie, but I didn't know it was that low budget. Ah, oh, that's crazy. That is, that, I mean, that's insane to be able to make a movie on $9,000. I know back then 9000 went further, but still, that's, uh, that's crazy. Damn. So he got big off just, uh, wow. I mean that that kid, that adds all the more to it. Like it's it's a good movie just without considering budget or anything like that. But now now it makes a little bit more sense with the black and white and some of that stuff. But ah, that's crazy. Man, what a what a brilliant guy to be able to pull that off. And there we go. We got our neuro mods. So uh, you know what we're gonna be doing here? We're gonna be increasing that inventory space. I know it's a little bit of a waste, but I really do need this. Oh, so it's an indie. It really wasn't big in this time. I was. I thought it was. You seem to know a lot about this, so I'm guessing I hit on a movie that you really like. Ooh, so we got a bolt caster that will give me less noise, so it'll be a little bit sneakier to hit those buttons with. Yeah, the movie came out in the 1980s. Hey, Jomi, how's it going? Let's see what is this? Oh, my one's going to be extremely limited. Let's control. Please adjust your schedule time. So I've got the code to the executive suites now. Yeah, Jomi, how do you like my uh, Entropia Universe stream? This is the new look that Mindark's going for. They're letting me test it out. It's uh, very rare that they let someone test out their betas, but this is just uh, an amazing beta. Uh, but no, I'm playing Prey. I think uh, for some reason Twitch is messed up. It tells everyone I'm playing Entropia Universe no matter what I'm playing. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you has a map for a minute. Oh, yeah, I read that already. The game prize thing. So there's these maps that I can try and use to find something special. I'm not too interested in doing that. I really just want to go through the story and sort of play it out like a main character would. Ooh, shit. Let's scan this. Yeah, MA should definitely update the graphics engine for Tropia. <laughs> 
Okay, so we got Homo sapiens that are locked in here. Got a new thing available, but I'm guessing just with the neuro mods, it seems like the more mods I install, the more trouble I get. Ah, oh, they made working treadmills in the game. Interesting. It's very cool. I love when they pay attention to the details like that. That's just, uh... It's nice. It makes it makes me happy to see a game that's like they've, they've taken they've taken the time to make sure they get some of these details right. Oh no, I mean, so I get like I'm not huge on the graphics. Like I'm not one of those people that says Entropia needs an updated graphics. But at the same time, it would be nice to see Mindark putting in some work. I feel like right now they're auctioning everything off, so I'm not as interested. Right, we got. It. the rest of them come on now I wonder if I can pull them in let's see if I I'm gonna tag this guy I think he'll get stuck there we go now he's gonna see me he'll probably be blown up by the fire so we should get to go Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Is he coming or is he? Yeah, there we go. He's slowly making his way to me to be blown up. Let's search these other guys while we wait for him to die. You got a banana peel. What? Are you kidding me? The fire is not going to do anything? Ah, that's bullshit. Of course, yeah, the fire doesn't do anything to him. I get burned, and now I gotta heal up. Uh, that's that's just how life goes. Let's uh, let me go back to the inventory. What I'm, I want to do is just uh, I want to use some of the stuff that's just sort of taking up space here. Huh? Yeah, yeah Jomi, I think time zones in Entropia Universe definitely do have something to do with. Sort of how good your loot is. I could be wrong, but it always feels like sometimes I'll come on on weird times and my loot's better. So I'm not sure if my dark's just like they know it's so rare to get me on at that time that they just want to be able to reward me for it. I don't know. I don't know. In a way, like I've almost given up trying to solve some of these problems because it's just like I I don't know the answer. It's it seems like a very it, it's, I don't know. Right, so you got one big dude over here. Should I take him out? I think I probably need to. Or do I? Because there's, there's not that much here, is there? Is there anything over here? No. You know what? We're going to leave these guys alone. We don't need to kill every boss in the game. And, uh... I, who's this? Henry Claus. I don't know if he's going to be... See if we can pull him, and he might have something cool on him, right? Ah, never mind. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's get out of here. But yeah, Jomi, in Trophy Universe, it's definitely one of those like hit or miss. Like you log in some days, and just the loot is great. And for the last week, my loot has been atrocious. It's it's just crazy how bad my loot has gotten. Like it's one of those things. Like I did not even think it was possible to get loot as bad as I've been getting. Mind arc is really, yeah. Diagnosed. All right, let's get some health like here. Had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better. All done. Please fill out. All you guys who are joining the stream, by the way, how's it going? So I can serve you better next time. Um, I don't know if there's a mission for level three robots. Not the CDF armor missions. I'm not sure. I mean, there's there is like there's probably got to be a mission in Tropia that's about killing like X number of robots or something like that. Ooh, I didn't see this person before, but they don't have anything good. All right. It's not what I wanted, and there's nothing in here. Does this take me anywhere special? 
Oh, it does, it does. Let's go up to the executive suites. There's gotta be something cool here. Hopefully, hopefully. I thought it would just take me up one floor instead. Something's there. Something weird's going on. Let's scan it. I think it's one of those. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're not gonna open that door. Because that does not seem like a good good idea. Yeah, I don't know about those robots. There's gotta be something though. Your cabin. Oh, this is mine? How did I get this? Oh no, no, this is my brother's. Or, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, this is, I don't, weird. Audio output, memory logs. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory, work obsessed. Perfect medical record, no absences. What phone are you on, Joe? Me, the Twitch is lagging. New entry, show, Danielle. Head of IT, dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Interesting. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Wild Alex. Believes your brother in typing can save his career. Got some neuro mods. Okay, so I think I figured this out. Um, so the oh, sorry to hear that your cats are going crazy, Pablo man. You're one of those crazy cat people, I see. Uh, but um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so it looks like this is all right. So this is my home, and then I was in my office before. So let's see what we've got here: increased weapon damage on marked enemies. Oh, I definitely need that. Um, what else do I have installed right now? Allows detection of hidden mimics. So I don't care too much about the morph power, so I'm gonna do this. Speed scan. I definitely could use a speed scan instead. And let's do the suit chip sets too. Falling on an en enemy will damage the enemy. I, I don't think I'm gonna use that, but I'll take it. Um, Michaela Ilyushin. This is the next person. Chief engineer, not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition, paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seem prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Ooh, so I really sound like a dick there. It's nice I did this, so I know who everybody Yushin, is. Chief engineer, not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. I'm she repeating believes the same it is one. because Sorry you discovered about that. her medical condition. Paraplexus, nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Huh. Sarah Elazar, Chief of Security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Quiet, hi, yeah, how's it going? Um, stream, I don't think my stream, like, grew, grew anything because of XQC. I got, I got a lot of, uh, people watching, well, I had a lot of people watching, I have a lot of people, f more fo followers now, but I'm not seeing, like, it's not like I'm seeing every day I'm getting way more people watching or anything like that. Maybe one or two here and there, people like you just pop in and say hi. So, uh, it, it grew a little bit, definitely, but it's not, uh, it's not like some of these people where, like, made them... You know super popular or anything like that but you know i appreciate any help i get right so uh i can't hate it and i watched some of xqc stuff and like he actually pretty decent you know his streams i like them obviously he's got so many subscribers like his streams aren't gonna be shit but yeah i liked it account of femi's question oh that's just something Oh, yeah, yeah, quite fine. Hey, I'm doing fine. I mean, I just like streaming to sort of interact with people and play games. So, like, it, it's not about growing or not growing or anything like that. If I grow, great. If I don't, it is what it is. Um, I'm more interested in just playing the stuff I like and sort of having a new little element to it. I can talk to myself while I play the game and sort of it's not like I'm crazy. 
If no one watches it, no one watches it. If someone watches it, great. At least that's my view on it. I mean, obviously, I try and grow my channel and everything like that here and there if I see the opportunities, but I'm not going out of my way to do anything. Yeah, I'm interested to hear why, what, what Jade is, uh, Pamela Meh. All right, fair enough. I won't. I won't. Um, I'm guessing you probably don't want me to talk about that, so we'll uh, be well enough to learn that. Ooh, we got a big guy coming. Oh, and there we go. Three shots. That's not too bad. Oh, do I don't know. Let me see. You want me to forget about uh, forget about what you said, or forget about the person? Curious. But yeah, I've never interacted with them either, so I don't I don't know anything to be honest. Sales folder. All right, so this is just. So this is just about um, sales, sort of, of the Neuromod and all that. What else do we have? Oh, I, I probably should use my light here so I don't get killed or scared or anything like that. Got some. Uh, uh, let's not drink the vodka. Let's not drink the vodka. Let's. We'll take the batteries. I know those we can combine. I've got so many disruptor batteries. I need to find something to do with them and that will throw in there anything in this nice tent? yep there we go we got some apple and a repair kit that is going to come in handy eventually for now though, i'm pretty happy though i've got this shoddy um and i don't have access there do i all right cool Uh, sorry to hear that, Pamela. Man. I I can't say I can't comment on it either way, just because I don't know. The, I've heard, well, I haven't heard either side to be honest. But yeah, that's uh, that sucks to hear that people are uh, doing that, or at least, you know, yeah. As I said, I can't, I can't, I can't comment on that, and I won't. Uh, I'll talk about that stuff later, depending. If I look into it or not. <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. I don't want to start drama. And I have no idea if that person still even does uh, videos or anything like that. Alright. So actually, let's heal up first here. I've got a lot of fruit, so let's just go ahead and eat some of this. Um... Yeah, that, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Completely get that. It's interesting to hear because I've never, uh, I've never heard anything about that person, bad or good, to be honest with you. Obviously, like I have an idea of who they are just because of uh, the game and everything like that. But that's about it. Sorry, to, sorry to hear that though. Sorry to hear that. Mind Jack available. Okay, so now they're coming at me. Now they're coming at me. I can't just do like a one shot, I think. What are you doing? Ooh, that works. That works. Bring them around. I'm going to bring them in here and I'm going to jump around the wall here. Oh, that one got me. That one didn't. So we got a few bodies here. That's good. That's good. Got some petri dishes, some EMP charges. Anything else good? Anything? I gotta carry one of these people. I don't know why they put. There we go. 
Yeah, that's true, Pamela. Man, I don't. I, yeah, I'm not a depositor, so I don't know the stuff that goes on um, with like big money and all that. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people that know a lot more just because they're uh, putting money into Entropia Universe and all that. I know I'm playing. I'm playing Prey, guys, but I am talking about Entropia Universe. Um, so for those of you guys wondering, Entropia Universe is um, just this, this MMO sort of that I play. <laughs> Oh, shit, 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 shit. I didn't expect that to happen. Whew. Alright. I don't want to do that. Let's switch him back and equip that gun. Oh, that's fair enough. Sucks to hear, though. So we got the telepath sort of locked in here. I'm thinking I might just take this telepath out while I can. I'm not sure why the telepath is. Ooh, nice. This is nice. A little bit of a cheat here. Running out of bullets, but it's okay. And there we go. <laughs> Your Poof. puppet's all dead. Now you join them. You. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you. Alright. So it looks like this guy has been freed. He was sort of helping me out here. Um. And yeah, Pamela May, if you're interested in a society in Entropia Universe. If you're interested in a society in Entropia Universe, you're always welcome to join the Serial Society. Uh, it's a very chill. You're pro you'd, probably, you'd probably be the biggest player. Well, the most experienced player to join, I'd say. So I know that probably wouldn't be... That's probably not a great sell just because it's a, it's a lot of new players and stuff like that. So uh, it depends what you're looking for. But you're more than welcome to join. I, I accept anyone who just join or anyone who sends me a request to join gets accepted pretty much. And those are that's that is like the pure newbie society, the beginning of society in Entropia Universe. So uh, I, I don't want you to join with any illusions of grandeur. Oh fuck. Something something weird's going on there. Alright, alright. So kitchen access you they do not have. Get in here. Yeah, there's not there's not a ton of people online to chat anyways. Talk to the survivor in the kitchen. Your suit. What is in your name tag? Oh, there we go. You? Um, am you? Am you? You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award. It's important to me. Hmm. Then to... maybe we talk. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, uh, Pamela. Man. You don't, you don't want people just—it's uh, just people acting shitty in, in uh, the game. And unfortunately, with Entropia Universe, just because there's real cash, there's a lot of people who will do um, dishonest things just because real money's involved. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I don't know. For me, it's just for fun. Like, I, I don't have big money, so I don't get involved in that drama a lot of... I mean, I did once upon a time, and I learned my lesson. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like this guy wants me to get something for him. I'd be tempted to say, like, screw you, I'm not going to do it. But at the same time, he is the only person I've seen in-game. Like, he's one of the few people I've seen. There's just one other guy that was a little weird. So, like, this guy... 
he seems like someone I might want to work with. So I'm, I'm going to explore here. Then I'll go grab his stuff for the suit and um, see what happens. Well, hopefully you don't leave the leave Entropy and Pamela. I mean, if you want to, you want to, but uh, hopefully you don't. Just don't go to Second Life. Then people get really upset with you. I tried playing Second Life for a little bit, and people were not happy with me. <clears throat> Mainly because those two games are sort of competing with each other. It's just weird. They should be sort of in, like, I don't know. Whatever, whatever. So let's go get, let's go to the cabin here real quick. So there's a cook's room. Yeah, let's go to the cook's room. It can't be too far, because we're in the crew quarters already. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Yeah, of course, Mr. Cook. Oh, come on now. That's not nice. That's not nice. So what's going on here? Let's see. So we got his reward for him. So there's something weird going on with this cook, dude. He seems a little off. Let's listen. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override <laughs> per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skeleton this show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana party. The fuck? Uh, this is an AB conversation skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see you my way out. Huh. What if MU comes back? Let MU in? But. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. All right. So, let's keep going. And, yeah, Pamela, it's fine talking about Entropy here because most of the people, even the people watching, like, these videos are probably somewhat interested in Entropy Universe. Um, and if they made it this far, I don't think they're going to mind. Oh, let's not leave. Let's go, uh, let's go visit this cook and see what he is up to. That's cool, though. If, you, uh, if you're someone that I'll probably know. So Pamela is hinting that uh, her avatar in Entropy Universe is actually it never die. I figured it out. You find it? I'm you just back? messing around. Come to window. Show All me. Right. Let's give this guy his reward. Let's give this guy his reward. That's cool, though, that we can just sort of, like, be done. You found something? Huh. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go around. The side entrance. Okay. So this guy could be a little bit weird. I'm gonna pull out a gun just in case. Yeah, there's no glitches in Prey. Um, no, I... If you speed run, if you speed run a game, that's a whole different thing. Like I'm doing a blind playthrough, so this is just exploring the game and just trying to figure out what is going on. Whereas, wait, oh. a minute. Okay, let's wait. But yeah, if you're speed running a game, you're getting, you're doing a whole different thing than what I'm doing. You're safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But. Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? Yeah, Sky Skyrim's a pretty good game. Actually, this whole YouTube channel started with the Skyrim video. When puppets can get in, explore or we just, the we'll just do it the fast way. <sighs> and now he's got water. You fix? Mm, smart one. Here. I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. 
All right, so he's giving me a lot of stuff here when he opens this freezer, I guess. Because there's supplies and all of that. Um, no, God of War, if you're into Nordic history, God of War is probably and just, like, you, the greatest you. thing. Hmm. I already hear this name before. Ooh. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, dude. What a bitch. Can't stop, piece of junk. Are you awake, am you? Frozen dead, maybe? I take Puppet's story screen. I see all the names in the list. And your name, too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are. M. U. Son of William U. William. Transtar. Always playing with lives. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you. Like you try to feed me to them. Or, cold kills you first. Make you into a frozen puppet. Ah, oh, what a douche. I would. Abby, I'm still in deep storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby. Please, don't take any chances, all right? I... Be safe. Oh, she still might be alive. She said the window by the pool. I wonder if I can find her. I wonder if there's a possibility that I can find her. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage, anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison, but with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. So if I didn't have leverage, how would I be getting out of here? Oh, there's something here. Ooh. He locked me in this room, but there's a lot of good shit here, so he, he did sort of come through. Get these chipsets installed. Five thousand PD. That is a crazy amount. I'm guessing the person who owns my deck is a millionaire, though. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh ho ho! This is a gun. Look at this thing. I like this. I like this. And now we now we have a gun, folks. Now we have some guns. Oh, this is gonna be good. Feel bad for all these people. So how you get out of here now, it looks like all you gotta do is just move that. Open this. And in the clear, maybe? Oh, huh. So I escaped the freezer and the cook is gone. So the cook just disappeared. Interesting. What are these notes? It's nothing. He should be nice to me. I really did help him out, I thought. Um. Ugh. I hate how, I hate that. That's so nice to do, and he just screwed me over. Any other game? So Pamela's asking if there's oh five hours. Yeah, have a, have a good night's sleep, Jeremy. Or I think that means that you're gone, dude. If you don't step late watching my stream, get get your rest. Your life will go, like, life is so much easier when you're well rested, in my opinion. So I've got the code for this, I guess. This still won't do anything, but I'm going to open it just in case something I ever gets stuck there or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know of any other, like, real cash economy games, to be honest. Second Life would be the big one, but you mentioned that. You said don't mention it. Um, yeah, Second Life's the only big one I know. 
Yeah, honestly, with sleep, I'd say, like, you want to get, like, I, I like to get eight hours of sleep. Sometimes I get six, I'm in a bad mood, and then I've got to be like, all right, all right, like, I should get more. But, like, you really need to get enough sleep because it's, uh, it helps, like, mentally it helps you. It just makes you mentally more healthy. Okay, open this. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Thanks, dude. He blew me up. Yeah, second life is, uh, yeah. Glad to see the cook, man. atmosphere conditions. Oh, and they really didn't, all right. They really didn't save after I got through all that, did they? Wow. I was gonna say praise being brutal, but at the same time, like, back in the day, these games, it was like you die and they're just like, that's it, like, sorry, game over. Go back to the beginning of the level, which is, you know, five hours ago, tough shit. Games used to be way more brutal back in my day. I don't, I don't want to carry that. Why am I bothering? Interesting. So if you don't have leverage, I guess this is the time to get it. But I think they gave you enough neuro mods that you should be able to do it. Yeah, second Second Life isn't my favorite. I've tried it, but I never I never got into the game. Let's make some shotgun shells here. Because I definitely need shotgun shells. I don't know of any other real cash economy games. That's pretty good, Pamela, man. Like, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's a good return, especially for the way you play the game. I'm assuming that's counting the money that you put in. Or that you, um... That you're playing with, right? Or is that just counting your in investments in the game? Alright, so I gave the chef back his prizes, and for some reason he decided to screw me over. What a nice guy. Um, so, first off, let's do a quick save. And now, what we need to do is set up our inventory stuff. Or, no, not that. I want to do this. What, what do I get rid of here? I don't need I don't need backlash to be on there. So I'm gonna make where's this where's this stupid gun that I found that was Q beam. Let's make that number nine. Actually let's make that five. Let's switch those two. Because I think I'm gonna be using the Q beam a lot. Okay, so Pamela May saying made a profit just counting everything, which is that's pretty damn good. Like uh Entropia is a hard game to make a profit with, but if you if you take it slow and you really invest some of your money, you can do it. Um, I, I did it, I did it, but I, I played for free, so yeah. Never deposited, never put in a single skill. Yeah, I, I don't do implants either in Entropia. I feel like that sort of it feels like cheating in a way, right? Like, why do I want to make it? Uh, yeah, I, I never, I'm never one of those people. I never got in, I never wanted to, like, implant skills. But yeah, you've got to deposit quite a bit to get that. Alright, so this is the bomb that was created. Let's go ahead and destroy that bomb. Oh, shit. So I can't shoot the bomb. I'm just supposed to do this. Yeah, that definitely worked. Damn you! You're still alive! Good! We learned to make mines in Ukraine from recycling Transtar junk. Wanted to share knowledge with you. Yeah, th thanks for sharing that knowledge with me, buddy. I've never, yeah, so I've never. Uh, <laughs> So I've never, uh, in Entropia Universe, I've never sold any skills and I've never bought any skills. If I sold skills, there's no way I'd be where I'm at. I think we can all agree to that. Let's just the switch. 
Got my suit up to 100, and we're ready to go. Let's get let's get a legit gun out here. Let's reload everything. Yeah, scammers are horrible. Have a good, have a good night, Jeremy. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hopefully you had a. I enjoyed talking with you, so hopefully you liked uh, talking with me. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, selling skill, selling, selling skills is a good way to make some money as long as you don't get scammed. If you get scammed, like that just that just sucks. I'm sorry to hear about that. I really am. But I mean, you've played Entropia long enough. You know that most people aren't like that. It's just, uh, I think because there's because it's a real cash economy. There's just some people who they they think they can get rich by screwing other people over, or they for whatever reason they think it's worth it. Oh, Pamela May, I really don't care if you mention names or not. Uh, you're not going to get, like, banned or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to mention the names. Don't worry. Because if I mention it, then I'm sort of, like, putting my stamp of, not approval, but stamp of, like, this This could be something behind it. And obviously, like, I don't want I don't want to start drama, basically. So the, the crux of it. Because I know there's some other people that would get involved in this. Alright, bye Xiaomi, have a good one. So let's see if we can't get this fitness center window thing. Let's see what this does. Let's head over there. We're unlocking all sorts of places all over this crew quarter. Getting some nice story. Alright, so remember I left that guy. Uh oh. We're gonna have to... Let's, let's scan it, then we're gonna have to kill it. No this would be a good chance to test available. out quick save but this would be a good chance to test out that new Q beam weapon oh what is going on I thought this would do some damage but it looks like I just gotta push enough of this gun into it Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is that really? Alright, so that gun didn't work at all. It was gonna blow that, that creature up, but it got down to 0%, which means I can't do anything with it. So that sucked. No, I completely understand that. Problem. It, it, it just sucks to get sort of cheated. You just feel like, what the fuck? I know what you're saying. Alright, let's, let's go in for the kill here. There we go. Bing, bang, boom. We got ourselves a kill. But we went through so much ammo. That sort of sucks. But I, I got the kill, so I'm sort of happy with that. Um, and yeah, Pamela, I definitely get it. Like you, When you lose money in Intro of the Universe, you want to lose money in a way that's uh, perceived as fair, I'd say, right? Like, if I lose to Mind Dark, fine. If I take my stuff to PvP4, fine. Like, that was my choice. I did it. I knew the risks. But if it's just you're trying to work with someone and get everybody, like, a, be a good result, and then someone decides just to take a shortcut of trying to scam you, that's that's not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, well, why, what's with Atlas Haven? I'm not sure I understand that reference. The, like, hashtag Atlas Haven. You were talking about that earlier. Is that just, like, known as, like, a good place to go or what? Let's check the window out. What the hell? Oh. Morgan? If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't... Shit. Nothing more that I can do for you right now. But, look... Be careful. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but the ID doesn't make any sense. 
He... I think he's the one that killed Abby. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Goodbye, Morgan. Damn. I wish I'd gotten that notice beforehand. I could have gone and killed the cook, but I didn't. I didn't. So we're going to have to keep going. I did like that helmet. That was a very cool helmet. You're right, Pamela. It was very, like, future bit, futuristic, very, like, cyberpunk. And I'm really big on that sort of, not style as far as just how clothing looks, but I'm really big on that sort of aesthetic. So I'm a big fan of that. Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. Okay, so I can go into deep storage now. So that's looking good. I'm pretty sure blowing up the station is going to count as preventing anyone from escaping. It's two birds, a one stone. Let's get it done. I mean, I think we're all done with everything else in here. So let's uh, let's get going. Oh, the mechanics behind the wrench. I have no idea, but the wrench is all-powerful. It's been seen in multiple video games. If you've got a wrench, you can fight a war. I'm surprised World War II did not involve wrenches, because they seem to be a little bit more powerful than guns in a lot of cases. But yeah, yeah, Pamela, I definitely know the history of Entropy Universe. I know some of the scams that have gone on and stuff like that, so like, I can, I can imagine. Uh oh. So this is spreading. It's never a good sign. We've got way more than enough health right now, which is awesome to see. Um. Oh, come on now. I thought that would work, it's not. Now we got someone else attack me from behind. Not cool guys, not cool. That one's dead, let's kill this one. Alright, and... Whew, we killed quite a few of these corrupted things, but they did do quite a bit of damage to us. So that's, uh, you know, double-edged sword right there. Oh, but we do have these guys up here. Can one of them come down and heal me? Here we go, here we go. Give me some health. Give me some health, buddy. There we go. That's all I needed. Let's get some uh, health going here. And we're fully healed up, and ready to rock and roll. Let's go with the wrench. Oh, Pamela, you were one of those people that bought Fallout 4 with the the helmet. Yeah, Fallout 4 definitely did not do themselves any favors as far as uh, fans go. They, they, I don't know what that was to be honest. That was just. Welcome. <laughs> Oh boy! Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Let's get out of here. So nightmares are like just super hardcore things that basically kill everybody. The only way to get rid of a nightmare is just basically hide until... Oh shit, alright. So I'm gonna have to go back to the crew quarters and hide it out. Um, 
because yeah the nightmares are just these massive massive monsters that like there's no way to kill the only thing you can do really is hide or I, I could try and kill them but it would just take too much of my ammo and health so i'm gonna go hide yeah the nuka rum would be very cool to get i, I saw some like um i was tempted to buy it i was at like costco right and i saw this like special edition white walker whiskey now i'm not a whiskey fan but i just I, like I, I love game of thrones so i'm like i should get this i didn't end up getting it um but i i should have because sometimes i'll see like these special edition wines or something like that and i uh i don't have a wine cellar but i have access to one that i can just stick stuff in anytime i want so sometimes i'll pick up that stuff so i've got a few a few collection of those like limited runs sort of like game of thrones wine or whatever and i saw the whiskey and i'm like ah, oh, should i add this to it i didn't get it though because i'm like it's 35 bucks i don't like whiskey what am i gonna do with it yeah i mean fallout to be honest fallout 76 i almost bought that game i was really i really thought it was gonna be huge i thought this was gonna be like a big big deal and then it yeah it wasn't and I was, I was pretty glad i didn't buy it to be honest then but yeah i know what you mean like it it, it seemed like it had such potential when they said there were gonna be no npcs i was a little bit like is that really gonna work because i know how entropia universe does it, and i feel like that's one of their shortcomings in a way like there's not enough npcs there's not enough quests and all that and i think fallout 76 ran into the same problem because it's one of those problems that's sort of like age old i've played some really cool games that just sort of falter because the player base doesn't get up there or just like the player base sort of fails the game they expect the player base to create the story and that that almost never happens so You love whiskey and scotch, but you won't drink anything else but Johnny Walker Red. Isn't there like, there's Johnny Walker Red isn't supposed to be like the greatest, right? Like, why not go with like a? Because have you have you tried like the Johnny Walker Black or Blue or whatever? Or Japanese whiskey? I guess so. Scotch is different. You said you love scotch, but won't drink anything. Oh, it's the greatest. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about whiskey, to be honest. Like, I wish I did, because I do, well, not wish. I wish I liked whiskey, because I do like the whole collector aspect of it, and the fact that there's, it's like with with wine, right? Like, I've got some nice bottles of wine, right? Like, you know, a couple hundred dollar bottles, you stick them in the cellar, you've got to make sure, like, they age properly and all that, because otherwise you're going to, like, wreck it. Um, there's one bottle that, it wasn't me, but my parents had it. They are saving it. It's, it was like a 28-year-old champagne. And the thing got wrecked just because of the way it um, it, w it wasn't resting on the cork for long enough, or for most of its storage time. And it's just like stuff like that with wine, it's very finicky, whereas whiskey, you can just sort of set it and forget it and then come back to it. And even if it's gone through sort of hell and back, it, it'll, it'll still be good. It'll still have aged well in a way, um, or at least it'll still last. I know I don't think whiskey ages once you take it out of the barrel, right? Oh, Pamela, you're saying you like whiskey, the taste, not to get drunk. I, I like to get drunk. Um, so a lot of the time, that's usually like if I'm drinking whiskey, that's what it was. So like today, I, or not today, um, this weekend I was over at a friend's house. And that is, you know, we were huge. He, he's like big on whiskey. So he's giving me like the whole tasting and taking out different bottles. And I'm like, all right tasted good but i'm like i always feel bad because he's like all right this is like a two thousand dollar bottle of whiskey and i'm like I, you're pouring me a glass and that glass probably cost you like 50 to 100 dollars support i'm not gonna enjoy it enough, like, no. but he insisted so i'm like all right let's try it and it wasn't bad actually it was very smooth very nice but, um, sneak attack what the hell what the hell i'm being attacked what the hell is attacking me? Alright, the wrench is just... I don't know. I don't know what the wrench is. Oh. There we go. Found him. So the wrench is supposed to be... I think it's like from... There's a lot of games. I think it was Half-Life that made the wrench famous, right? Like Half-Life had the wrench in it. 
So these med bots, I guess, are getting fucked. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I accidentally put the drone there. Oh, nice. Went to an industrial party. Those are cool. I was like, I'm a big, big, like, festival person. So I, I go to a lot of, like, festivals. I've done, to, like, industrial stuff. Um, but I'm more. But generally, like, that style industrial. I'm more, like, happy hardcore sort of EDM stuff. But I, I do, like, industrial a little bit here and there. Used to be real big into punk, and a lot of my friends listen to goth. So, like. I, I know what you're talking about. I've been to those events, and they're really good. But yeah, New York City can get... I mean, New York City is about as pricey as Boston. Like, both cities can get a little uh, a little too expensive sometimes. So I know what you mean there. Oh, we got a boss. We got a boss here, I think. Oh, industrial tech now. Okay, that helps if you're smaller, it can take a lot, like, uh... In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other The problem with this one is he's, like, shocking as he comes at me, so I can't get him to get too close. Oh. What the heck? Oh, no, I got him, I got him, I got him, we're good, we're good. I was like, what the heck, I didn't kill him? But I did. Oh, you're a small girl, so it doesn't take you much to get drunk. Yeah, I, it, ta it takes me quite a bit to get drunk. So it's usually... If I'm drinking, it tends to be an expensive experience. But, eh, it is what it is, right? Alright, so we're all healed up. I have no idea how the wrench works, but I know the wrench is OP. For a wrench, I mean... You'd think, like, a metal pipe would be better than a wrench, but it's not. It's not. Oh, boy. We've got a lot of these dudes walking around. I thought I was going to kill one and be done with it, but it's uh, it's not looking like that. Let's get past this. We're going to have to be a little stealthy here. Got a lot harder to kill. See, the game's figured out. I know what I'm doing, and now they're like, "All right, we're gonna make this harder." Now. Not fair. Not fair at all. Not fair at all. If it's full circle, how the hell do you open it? How the hell did I open what? The wrench? No. Let's get to deep storage. This is this is. Uh -oh. oh shit! I thought I killed him already. I definitely killed him already. Look at the wrench in the inventory. Let's see. Where are we at here? Yeah, this this is like a space wrench. It works in high tech ways that we can't even imagine. Or at least that's I'm sure what the excuse would be. Let's get this scanned. Uh, weakness is a Q beam, so we're gonna have to use a Q beam. Let's give this thing a shot. We're gonna use it. Oh wow. That was super effective. Look at that. The Q-Beam just destroyed it. I have no idea how the wrench works, how to open stuff, but I'm guessing it's something to do with, like, I don't know. It's in space. So, like, ooh, pomegranate. Weapons upgrade kit and some bullets. Those bullets are going to come in super handy because I don't have any bullets, and this will give me a way to sort of tag people from a, a distance. Mario definitely wouldn't be happy with that wrench. It's made for space, not for toilets. Alright. Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Gravity. Corkscrew. Rendezvous. Speculation. Gravity. 
gravity, corkscrew, rendezvous, speculation. Doesn't sound too exact, but I'll, I'll take it. Let's go to deep space storage. One thing too to remember, it never asked me to repeat those words before. So somehow just when I hit F, it knew that I had that recording and it was like, all right, this, this time he'll do it. But the first time it's just like default failure. Little bit of a bug there, or not a bug, but a, um, a mistake. <laughs> Mario, though, is definitely a wrench connoisseur, so uh, can't hold every wrench up to such high standards. That's part of the problem here, Pamela. Mario's just like, you know. Oh, no, it's fine. Usually what people do is they tune in for a bit and then uh, leave. There's probably like one other person watching. Sorry, Morgan, but I have to lock you in this time. When I trashed your arming key, it was to keep you from making a huge mistake. Oh, shit. It's too late to stick our heads in the sand. We're committed now. You should be safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just... not yourself. All right, so something is going wrong here. Oh, okay, here we go. January is going to tell me. Storage. If Talos 1 had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. All right, fair enough. I don't know what that is. Yeah, um, fair enough, Pamela. If you got to eat, you got to eat. I'll probably be on for like another few minutes. I'm not going to be on for too much longer. Oh, shit, something's about to see me. Yep, something saw me. Hold on one sec. But yeah, I probably won't be on for too much longer. Um, just because... Oh, shit. Kill me. Just because I'm going to go eat, too. Um, and I've got to go to the gym still. And, like... Nah, I'll, pro I'll probably play for another... Maybe, like, 10, 20 minutes. And then... Then be calling it. Because, yeah, a lot of people do sort of tune out. Like, when I start streaming, there's a lot more people that will jump on right away. And then, to as it storage. gets later, people sort of if head Talos on. One had a let's, get, let's kill this thing first. This would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has Thanks the plan for your Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. All right, so there's this guy here. <laughs> Bing, bang, boom, he's dead. This gun is really helpful. I'm almost out of bullets. All right. All right, I'm not going to get attacked, so we're good. But yeah, I don't, know, I don't know exactly how long I'll be on for. Make sure to let the new guy in. 681. Nice. So what are these? Fabrication, transfer files. I think I've got it, but just in case. Let's go back. Let's see what these emails are all about. Oh. You ripped open a nine in my brain. I see okay. a horizon filled with teeth. It is coming closer. Maybe it is what you see. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I will wait in you. You will come out. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. So this is saying something's being mean to this guy, and then we got a treasure hunt thing going on. We have a big, big monster out there. Nothing this way. So we're, we're going to crawl through here and see if we can't make our lives just a little bit easier. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to We're face have reality. To kill the telepath. That thing almost saw me. 
but we managed to get back just in time. Let's eat a little bit so we can uh, make sure we're fully ready for the battle ahead. Do I have any more? I don't have any more snacks, do I? No, no, we've got this. Let's eat that. Are there no more snacks? No, no, we've got... Oh, I don't want the beer. Oh, oh boy. Got a lot of vodka and moonshine, but nothing too helpful. We're going to have to jump out and kill this thing. He's not really attacking me here. I don't know why. Oh, boy. Why is he not attacking? I don't know what's wrong with this telepath. He's just, like, completely ignoring me. I mean, I'm glad he made it way easier than I thought it would be, but, like... That's not right. Either it's a bug in the game, or there's something going on oh wow shit it's not a good sign so you got some radiation here I think I should be able to handle it for now but let's uh let's see we got an explosive canister could have repaired that yeah would have been a nice way to kill that thing without using all of our shotgun ammo, but it is what it is. We've made our choice. Okay, so we got some radioactivity over here. Let's do a quick save. Got a quick save it just to make sure I don't uh, don't run into any issues. Primarily, I take readings and analyze data. I also provide reference. Look So what's in here? Oh, so we do have the card to this, don't we? No, we don't. We don't. I thought we had the access, the uh, code to it. Oh, we do. So this is a security booth. I thought we had that. Do we not have the code to the security booth? I was pretty sure we did. I guess we don't have the key. I was really hoping that like would do something and like destroy it, but it looks like it didn't. Unpowered door. All right, so we got to get into the security door. It's looking like. So we don't have the key card. Let's let's take a look around. I did sort of skip through here. Maybe there's a key card in here. Probably shouldn't have thrown those files around. It didn't seem to be that, that wasn't a good idea. Like those explosives, I just uh, sort of ruined it. All right, so there's nothing here that'll help. That body's empty. Requesting new operator. Didn't even see this. Oh, we can get some nice uh, healing on our suit. That's gonna be nice. Get our suit back up to snuff. That's where I popped out of. So that doesn't help me at all. What else do we have out here? Is there a key card anywhere? Got some money, maybe. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Um, hmm. Oh. So 
We can break these windows. And there you go. You can just jump right through the window. That is super handy. Um, I'm not going to load a game. I'm going to save the game here because this actually might be a good place to uh, make a little bit of a how-to video because I, I think that's going to be a hard one for some people to solve. So don't do what I did with the nuclear waste stuff, if you guys are wondering, because that, that seemed not to work. We do have the fabricator already for the shotgun shells, but screw it, we'll do it too. What does this say? All right, so we're fine from the stuff here. Tell us safety reminders sent from a zero gravity environment that is maintained by one degree Celsius per member all the time. Grant access, yep. Nice. So these are all the crew members. What are the utilities? Let's download this map. We always want to get every map possible. That's not that helpful. Whatever. Whatever. I don't use my maps that much, but just in case I need them, it's always good to have them, right? Let's head in. Microgravity detected. I wonder if I can just hit this thing, get it to, let's do a quick save, quick save, get it to die. Uh. Nope, that, alright, let's try again, let's try again, I'm thinking we might have to, we might call it here just because, uh, we, we had a pretty good run, I think, I think we had a good run, so maybe we just don't need, don't even need to bother with the mess. The nuclear stuff is not the best thing to see, but uh, what can you do? What does this say? Mounted drive, right? No drive found. All right, that's always good. Oh, we got weavers. Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. It's not good. So the hard drive's down there. Let's see if we can't get to the hard drive without alerting any of these beasts. Hey, Pamela May, welcome back with pizza. That's always good. Going for the hard drive now. Ham and shrimp. That's a weird pizza combo. Restore. So we want to restore everything from the backup. Let's head over here. Let's get it done. Oh, this is so weird. I always hate. It. I always hate the zero G stuff because you just get so turned around. Mount it. Uh, something bad's gonna happen, I'm sure of it. Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. Download a arming plan, alright. Just because your Italian doesn't mean the pizza's not really kind of Always remember that. So there's something up there that we need to do, I guess. Right? I, th I think this is it. Strawberry and ham pizza. I will pass on that one. There's a kiosk over here. We just gotta. I just gotta figure out how to get there. Oh, there we go. Normal gravity detected. Oh no. See the wrench works. Attack me. 
Let's heal up. Strawberry pizza does it, it sounds weird, not delicious. Ah, uh, teach their own, teach their own. There's a kiosk up there that we've got to get to. Where is the ladder, though? Because I didn't see the ladder last time. There's got to be some ladder to get us up to the kiosk top. Right. Does this do it? Oh, there we go. That's it. I think. How I didn't know that, I don't know. Uh oh. Let's use the Q beam. That should kill him. Yep, that killed him. No, there's like there's like one or two other people here. I, I I've thought about streaming on YouTube, but the big thing is, um, so what I've noticed is if I stream on YouTube, a lot of people will just unsubscribe. I think because they get tired of it. I should give it another try though. But I don't, I don't know, like Twitch Twitch always seemed like the streaming platform, and YouTube always seems like the video platform. Although maybe I'm wrong. I should I should give it a shot. I should give it a shot. You're right. Uh -oh. Maybe the next one I'll stream on YouTube. Got some shotgun shells. That is good. Not anything really. Alright. So now we're upstairs. What do we have here? Ooh, we got the password this time. Oh, personally, you hate Twitch, but I'm a man. Yeah, maybe next time I'll try YouTube, see how that goes. Especially when I'm doing this, because I am just uploading these to YouTube. So it's like, why not, right? I think I've already done this. I've definitely already downloaded that file, but I'll download it again. I was trying to practice game. Space. Let's see if we Alright, so I think this guy's a little uh, sneaky. So I've thought about multi streaming combo, but then the problem becomes how do I talk with the chat, right? Because um, I don't think I could, right? I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but I, I, I think. Or at least my thought was if I multi-streamed, it would be hard to talk with YouTube and Twitch at the same time just because they couldn't interact. Other Twitchers say YouTubers donate more. I mean, that's fair. Hold F to pick up multiple items. Why don't you... Right. Something's about to happen. Let's do a quick save here. We're going to have to... Oh no. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Find the savage creep. Now how do uh, Day nine, my friend, he's a millionaire. Is day nine day nine's a streamer, right? Is that the deal? I'm a, I'm horrible at this stuff. I think day nine is. What do I have here that I can use to sort of null wave transmitter? This might be able to do it this time. All right, and kill me. You play Magic the Gathering together. That's cool. So he says YouTubers donate more. Hmm. Um, maybe I'll give YouTube a try, I guess. Oh yeah, that's where I've heard him from. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 now it's ringing the bell. 
Sorry about that. Like, I... I know, like, a lot of this stuff I know in passing, but I'm not, like... I, I'm horrible with names. Like, I, I forget people's names. Oh, boy. Let's, let's lure this guy out here. Come on, buddy. Oh. Just don't have enough power to use this wrench anymore. Oh. Let's use the EMP charge here. And kill them. Suit integrity damaged. Operator on bridge. Whoopsies. That's not good. That's cool that you know daytime though. I mean, I think he. Most of those people in esports seem pretty like, chill about that stuff. Like, if you're trolling them, but in a way that's sort of fun for everybody, they're fine. Right, let's run back here. Let's grab this mimic. Oh, boy. Let's find our. Null wave transmitter. I think that's where is this dude? Where is this dude? Oh man, oh no, 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 no. this is not good here. Alright, let's get this EMP charge, no way transmitter charge again. And he killed me. Oh, you know him in real life. Is Danon from New York? Is that the deal? That's cool though. So you when you say Magic the Gathering, you're playing Magic and Gathering in like real life, not the uh the video game version of it, I'm guessing. I mean there's ways you control people that aren't like messing up their job, right? There are ways that you control people that are just assholes. You know, I think it depends sort of how you do it. In a way. So this is a bit of a hard one here. So I've got to kill these mimics first. Oh, he's not from New York. Okay. Oh man, this, these things are just... So he got killed somehow. Oh boy. That's no good. Alright, let's uh... Let's check my inventory real quick here and see if I can't heal myself by eating or doing something. Got green tea. That is... Gotta do something. That's about it. All right. As far as guns go, I've got to use this Nolan transmitter. And he killed me again. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You're the one that's like beating him in these games. That's cool. Man, I need to figure out uh, where it is. There. Let's see if I can do this. No, there's no computer here. I'm, I'm trying to find a way that I can like find some shotgun shells. Because again, I ran into. I, I'm in the same scenario that I'm always in, where I just somehow. What does this do? Somehow I've run out of. Uh, Oh, uh, he likes it because he invites you to streams and then loses. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Somehow I've run out of ammo yet again. Even though I know better. Like, this time I even knew I should not be running out of ammo. I said that to myself. But ran out of ammo. And now he's about to kill me. Again. And then he killed me again. Hmm. It's cool though that you get to like go on his streams and sort of see that. That's a nice little interaction that you get there. 
you should start streaming, like, if you're getting that much attention, right? Alright, so I don't know why I quick saved here. So I did not do much damage there. Um, what options do we have at this point? got to figure out like a really good way to play this. Right now I'm not coming up with it. Ooh, that was interesting. It's a different... Ooh. We got this fire guy coming at me. Oh. I see what you're doing. You're like one of those people when you play Magic, you have like the troll decks, right? Because I've heard of those. Like, you'll just. It's like one of those things that it's just annoying to lose. That's what you're saying. Oh, no, let's not swing at him. Maybe he can do something. Oh, there was a turret. Now, now, now we've got a plan. Now we've got a plan. Alright, let's make this work. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Pamela, man. Troll decks and Magic the Gathering are pretty entertaining. I've never gotten into it, but, like, I can def... I'm, I'm definitely, definitely on board with that. Oh, come on. Right, so he's not going to come over. Let's... What am I hacking? Why am I hacking this? Why am I hacking this? All right, fine. I think we're hacking it so it doesn't get like a shot, maybe, but... I'm not sure why I'm hacking this device right now, so I'm not too... I won't be too upset if I don't get the hacker through. I didn't get it through. Alright. Alright, so let's pick this up. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. That's pretty cool, though. Like, that's a, that's a good version of trolling, I feel like. Alright, so let's run back here and set this thing up right back here. One down. Come on, dude. Why is this guy not? All right, take the bait. Take the bait, buddy. Take the bait. Come on now. He's taking the bait. Let's see if he comes. Come on. There we go, there we go. Oh, you're an artist? That's cool. Let's take him out. There we go. Oh, no. Oh no. Alright. Now the question is, is there a way for me to get out of this? I did a good bit of damage to him, but I don't think I have a solution. Yeah, I got Alright, cool. That's cool that you got some of your artwork on the Magic the Gathering cards. That's some nice, nice work. I know with programming, it's definitely always cool to see when your work is like used by all these people. Um, but I definitely... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab that turret. Now. Oh man! No, let's not hack it. I don't need. I don't. What the hell? I hate this. I don't know why I'm hacking this turret. Like it was never explained to me. All I need this turret to do is attack that dude. Let's try again though. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Not the best attempt at this that I'm doing here. 
Alright, let's, let's, let's reload. Let's reload. Quick load. Confirm. Oh, that's cool. You got to work with Wizards of the Coast doing some of the vampires in Merfolk. That's very cool. Nice. I'm sure that was like a cool thing too. If it's a game that you really like playing, to see your own work get like in implemented in the game, that's gotta be. It's gotta be like a huge deal. Yeah, that's always cool. Like, if you can contribute to something you really like or you, something you really like doing, it just makes, like, the whole process of, like, working and all that way more enjoyable. I don't know why I keep hacking. I keep hitting... I, yeah. I keep hitting the wrong... Well, I'm holding up instead of letting it go, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. There we go. Yeah, for some reason when I was hitting F before it wasn't working. What the hell? Oh, I see this. Oh, these assholes attacking me. I thought I killed them all. Alright, now we've killed them all. But he did do a bit of damage. Let's repair this system real quick while we're here. This is definitely going to save me a lot of uh, ammo if I can use these turrets. Where do I want to go now? Oh, wrong way. Let's see. Oh, what's free if I ever want to stream it? It's in beta. Magic the Gathering? Arena? I thought I thought you had to pay for the cards or something like that, right? Isn't that how it works with the new Magic the Gathering? You've got to pay for the cards, but you don't have to pay for... Um, Let's grab these Nullware transmitters. There we go. Nice and easy kill. Nice and easy kill. Oh, I see. So the game's free, but you can get decks for winning the matches, and you can also buy with money. And you're saying, but fuck that. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I should, I should give it a shot. I should give it a shot. Because I definitely like those card games. The only thing I really don't like about a lot of these card, card games is it's become this thing where people just sort of look online to see... Let me quick save here. They look online to see like what deck they should use and then they create it just based on that. Cause there's no real, I, I feel like you, you lose some of the challenge, right? Like part of the challenge of these things, it used to be coming up with like a creative way to use characters or stuff like that. You can pay with money you earn in the game. I'm winning platinum series without even paying. That's cool, that's cool. But, like no hate to the people that do that. Like look it up, but I always feel like I, like, I want to play the game without looking up, like, how to how to win, right? Like, I want to be able to play it just blind and sort of come up with my own decks and all that, but it's real hard when there's someone whose, like, career is literally just to create the best deck and then sell it on YouTube or Twitch or whatever or on the internet. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, so that's not affecting me, is it? So, warning, central project here is here. Transfer the files, that's what we're doing. Get that key. Sending a kill signal. The reason without proper authorization. Ooh, so these tracking bracelets can kill you. Morgan, Alex has you boxed in. Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown from out here. But I promised I'd help you. So listen. Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. It's a redundant backup system. That's your way out. 
Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open up one of the vaults. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Then your ass is space junk, like me. And if you manage to get back inside, remember, you owe me. Kill the son of a bitch who hurt Abby, or I swear to God I'll haunt you. All right, so we got we got some forward progress here. I don't think I want to use a kill bracelet yet. Kill the imposter cook, unless he has a bracelet on. So four games that you play. Let's hear this: Magic: The Gathering, Entropia. Tetris. That's an interesting one. And Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, that, Red Dead's supposed to be really good. I never got into it, but I, I've heard like really good things about that game. Alright, let's transfer all this stuff. We're going to have to build, build, and build some more. Because I, I really need to get some good gear. Silence Pistol, let's transfer that. There's this anti-rad... Uh, bother I'm not gonna do these yet got to do all that all that yeah let's see what we come up with here I need I need to build like, a ton of stuff right now yeah I've heard really good things like I want to it's one of those games I'm tempted to buy but I've just got I've got so many other games to finish first because I'm more I'm more into like this sort of thing where you got an FPS that sort of leads you along a path through the story so like when I've got there's, there's too many games. There's just too many games available. I feel like, right? Like it's just there's all sorts of games out there. Right? I only have so much time. It's an annoying thing. All right. Ooh, we got a lot of shotgun ammo now. I probably built a little too much shotgun ammo, but that's okay. Um. Convert that gun too. Why not? We got that. What else do we have here? Anything? Uh, maybe we'll do that one too. Got a lot of recycler chargers, but I don't want to use all those yet. Anti rad. Let's split this. I'm going to do two of them here. Yeah. Spare parts I'm going to definitely be using. Oh, disruptor batteries. We can do like half of these things. All right, that should be good. Let's recycle them. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, if your mom like, I mean, yeah, if your family, like, if that was like a family thing too, it makes sense that you'd like Tetris. That's cool. My parents were never too big in, into uh, gaming. I wish I had the storage password. All right, what else can we make here? Let's create this med kit. I think this should be good enough. This should give us sort of everything we need. Let's see. Yeah, so we should be good. We should be good. Bracelet IDs. This I, I like. It's interesting that there's a kill switch there. Ooh, so let's check these emails. There might be something good here. Operator on the range. Ah, that's cool, Pamela. Gold player Tetris game. Yeah, to be honest, I probably wouldn't play Tetris that much. I'm not good at that game. I never got into it. It's a little, probably maybe a little before my time. Maybe not. I just never got into it. Uh, Mr. Sure I'm right here. If you'd like to make sure it's secure, also. All right. Interesting. So there's a rogue operator, they think. Interesting. Treasure hunt, and then the read. The last O2 is only gone. Imposter cook equals escape. Track him. Don't let him get away. Interesting. Transfer these. I'm 
Entropia. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if if you want on Entropia, feel free to send me like a friend's request or something. Uh, Cause my whole name's Daniel Outman Jackson. Vault's already ejected. Unlocked. All right. So we did that. I wonder if that's a no. Escape from deep storage. So let's get out of here, I guess. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, all friend requests I accept in Entropia. Like, anyone can send me a friend request and I'll accept it. I'm very... Yeah. I'm probably too accepting, but... Uh, you know. We all have our... Alright, so I gotta get out this way. It looks like... Hmm. So I think the easiest way to do it might be through here. Because it looks like this would be sort of the... The golden way to go. Do I have the password here? No. I'm, I'm gonna have to upgrade, I think. Let's do this. Ooh, I need six neuromods. I don't have it. Tell you what, we're gonna go back and build one more neuromod. I've still got those recycler grenades. I'm gonna use them. Because right now, like, we need to... I need to stop getting so stingy with the cycling. Oh yeah, I've smoked weed before. Um, it's pretty chill stuff. It really depends. Just make sure you don't do too much. That's the only recommendation I'd have. Um, you know, some people are way into it. I never got too into it. Just like, most of the time it's just... I don't know. I don't have like an amazing experience most of the time. I know some people that act like it's, you know, the next best thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I never got too into it. And even like right now in uh, Boston, it's completely legal. So it's not even like a, it's not really a thing that's just like, you know, anyone could do it. But yeah, I never got into it. Like I've got a little bit, I'll try it now and then. I don't mind edibles. They're good to chill out, but they're not like, it's not, you know, God's gift to man, in my opinion. Like, some people have it made out to be. It's cool. I mean, and it's, it is, it's a good thing. Like, have a little bit and play some video games or whatever. Like, I like that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not all gung-ho gung -ho about it like some people. Because there's some that will just, like, get nuts about telling me weed's this amazing thing. But, um, yeah. All right, there we go. Let's get this leverage. And yeah, it is a drug. Like, if you're gonna do it, like, I'd say start small. Make sure it's something you want to do, because that's the thing. And don't do edibles right away. Because the thing with edibles is, like, everybody has different tolerances, and I found out my tolerance for that. Just no matter what I do, no matter how much I have it, because I've tried it, like, where I'll just have it, like, every day for a while, and just, eh. Like, microdosing and stuff, your, my tolerance never goes up, right? Like, I'm just a light when it comes to that. But, like, that's one of those things with weed... With weed, it's like you smoke it, and in 28 minutes, in like 20, 30 minutes, it sort of goes away. With edibles, it's like you're in this for five hours, so you want to be careful you don't take too much. Um, and yeah, I mean, it does affect your psychology and everything like that. If there's mental illness or something in your family, just don't, you know, I wouldn't do it at all. Man. I should be able to carry this, I thought. Did I, did I fuck up? Oh, Decker pipe from Australia? That's cool. Why can't I lift this? Did I just, did I screw up? Oh man, did I, I did the wrong thing, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna reload real quick. I accidentally, ah. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't use a hand carved pipe. You could ruin it. I'd, I'd worry about that, to be honest. All right. So let's see, did I create the Neuromod already? I had to go back just because I, I, I messed up and loaded the wrong thing. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I did, all right, perfect, perfect. So we want, no, not hacking. I almost did the same mistake again. We want leverage, it said lift to anything. That's why when I saw hacking four, I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but eh. Oh yeah, definitely don't smoke inside. Like, the smell just hangs around for so long. All right, so now we can lift this and get going. Let's make it happen. Ooh, it's already... Oh, it's getting late. I've got to get going soon, too. This 
scan this thing. Oh, come on. I didn't even move. Oh, that sounds nice. If it's hand carved like that, I wouldn't use it. You're in New York City. You guys have, like, stores every few blocks. I think you're in New York City. Oh, last time you smoked was seven months ago. Yeah, I haven't done it in... I don't think I've had weed in, like, three or four months now. So it's, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while for me, too. But, speaking of which, I just realized it is getting, it's getting a little late. And I do have to, uh get going here so let me get this leverage thing done and then i'm gonna call it sort of quits for part four i believe it is of my prey let's play so pamela may thanks for sticking it out with me and thanks to the other i think one of these people watching is me and the other one someone else so thanks for tuning in whoever you are even if you don't want to talk but um yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys have a good night, good morning, whatever it is. And those of you watching on YouTube, if you're interested, feel free to follow me on Twitch. I might stream the next one on YouTube just to see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, peace. And, yeah, I'll look for that friend request.